Hello everybody, welcome to my channel Crypto Explorer. In today's video, I'm going to go over uh, ways to protect your recovery phrase from physical theft. So with Bitcoin and a lot of wallets, uh, and, uh, different cryptocurrencies, when you, uh, when you create a wallet, um, there's, they give you a recovery phrase for, uh, so that you're able to restore it uh, in case um, you lose your computer or or for example if you're us using the ledger nano s if if, if you need to um, if you need to buy a new one if it's not uh, working so a lot of the times what they do is they well with the ledger they give you this little sheet for you to um, for you to write down the words and then just so store it in a safe place but um you know, either a safe or a lockbox, but that's not always the most secure thing to do, for uh, in terms of uh, physical security. If somebody steals your safe and and or breaks open into your lockbox, and they see the paper, if they're savvy enough, they'll know that hey, this this is a cryptocurrency wallet. They could quickly um, take a picture of it and put it back uh, to make like uh, nothing ever happened or. Um, or just uh, steal it outright, and once they have the phrase, they can rec they can recover it to a different wallet or a different hardware wallet. So, what I'm I guess in this video, I just want to show you a couple ways that you could secure, add an extra extra layer of security to your um, uh, recovery phrase. So here I generated a recovery phrase. This one is 15 words, depending on your wallet. Um, you may get 12 or more words but just for the sake of this example i just wanted to generate a random recovery phrase um so i just use this website so what normal normally people would do is they would take this and then they would write first second third fourth word and so on on a on a sheet of paper so that they could and then throw it in a safe i just want for me i just want to take it a step further and what i do is I take the words and I put it on multiple cards. So, for example, these are uh, what, say uh, three by five cards or note note cards. So, I would take the words and put them in order from uh, from the top down. So this would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so forth on separate cards. Now this right now would be very difficult to solve even for yourself. So you need a method to know what order these cards go. Um, so if a criminal grabbed all this and they just took a picture of this, it, it will take them longer to break the code. I mean, um, of to break the code of your recovery phrase. But at that point, um, or it, it might not even be worth it in their time. It's just, it'll take a long time. But for you, you want to be able to recover it. So what I would do is I would put something that you would know on the bottom. So in this 15 word example, we have, say for instance, this, this is a made up social security number. If this was your social security number, you could put the digits, part of the digits on the bottom so that if you had to find out the order you like, you would be, well, okay, this is my social. So this is first five, five, nine, nine, eight, eight, seven, seven. So you could recreate the order of the cards. So using your social would be one method. Another method, date of birth. You could use your date of birth. Um, sometimes it may not work. Uh, say for instance, if, you have, if you're born on 1-1, one, one, then you have two sets of 0-1. But the main thing is use something that you could recreate that you know in, in terms of uh, putting these in, back in the right order. So you're not trying to put the whole thing in the right uh, each individual words, but separating them into, you know, four to five cards is a lot more manageable. So that's one way, date of birth. And another one would could be a credit card. Say you have credit cards have um, four sets of numbers. So in this instance, four set in each one. But um, you could put an asterisk on the last four digits so you know which card you're referring to. Um, but it's just another method. So the main thing, um, I guess what I'm going with this, um, is that even though you have physical security with a safe, if it ever gets broken, it's good to add another layer of security. 
because just writing it out in plain sight like this, I mean, if a, 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 a bank employee who's 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 not, uh, I guess, can't be trusted, if they opened your lockbox and they're like, hey, I'm just going to take a picture of this real quick. And then they got, they got it, basically, and all your funds on that wallet. Anyway, I hope this helps. Um, thanks for watching.